Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with yet another exciting video for you guys. This time I decided to visit Karnataka Chitkala Parishad's flea market. So without wasting any time, let's start. This place is a visual art complex which is located in Bangalore. Uh, the complex has 18 galleries. 13 of these galleries carry a permanent collection of paintings, sculptures and folk art. Uh, the other galleries are rented out for exhibitions of work by artists and that's where I will be exploring today. So if you are someone who loves art and craft, handlooms etc, this is a paradise for you. I first visited this place when I was a designing student and instantly fell in love with the craftsmanship. As we know, every region in India has its own handloom techniques that uh, are used to weave many unique fabrics. Uh, this is a great place if you want to see different textiles, embroideries, jewelries, accessories at one place. This place is a mixture of Banjara market and Delhi heart in a nutshell. Uh, you will find really good vintage home decor and antiques. If you are looking for straw bags, they have really good variety of them with beautiful embroideries to cool design and good pricing. This shop in particular had some second-hand vintage antique home decor and it was from all over the places. I saw a nut cutter from Bengal and some tiffins from Tamil Nadu. Next up this stall that was selling a blue pottery from Jaipur and I want to tell you a little about blue pottery and how it became famous in India. So the use of blue glaze in pottery is an imported technique. Uh, it first developed by Mongol artists who uh, combined Chinese glazing technology with Persian decorative arts and after that this technique traveled east to India with early Turkish conquest uh, in around 14th century. During this period, it was used to make tiles to decorate mosques, tombs and palaces in Central Asia. Later on, following their conquest and arrival in India, the Mughals began using them in India. Now gradually, the blue glaze technique grew beyond the architectural accessories to Indian potters. From there, the technique travelled to plains of Delhi and in 17th century, it went to Jaipur. Uh, it's great to know how these artists kept the art alive.
in terms of pricing this place is a little pricey because the products are handcrafted with not so modern techniques involved but not everything was handmade so be aware if someone is selling you something in name of handcraft apart from that i saw some clay pots utensils water bottle jars etc the scope of bargaining is there in every stall If you are looking for handcrafted silver jewelry different designs of indian silver jewelry contemporary or vintage this place is for you including the tribal jewelries of india each piece looks handcrafted with care and some pieces are decorated with colorful stones as well If you follow that boho girl she shared her silver jewelry collection few weeks back and i saw some very unique pieces that she owned and i kid you not guys i saw very similar designs what she showed in her collection here now even the prices were very very similar to what she uh, told do visit this place if you want unique silver jewelry that nobody else owns
you want to visit this place uh, the location is in the description box below i hope you like the video if you did then please subscribe my channel i am very close to my first 500 because you know youtube pe video teen cheezon ki wajah se hi chalti hai like share and subscribe bye see you in the next video